Am I the asshole for setting up a just-in-case fund for my daughter? My daughter has been married to her husband for three years, and they recently had their first child. The entire time they've been married, she's been a housewife, and now she's a stay-at-home mom with no plans to return to work. I think that's fine and have been supportive. I also know she and her husband both have sizable life insurance policies, so if, God forbid, one dies, they'll be okay. However, she also signed a prenup. Which, again, I think is smart, but according to my daughter, she'd get a very small settlement. And even with child support, there's a good chance she'd have to return to work. And after being out of the workforce for a bit, who knows if that'll be a challenge. My main worry is my niece fell into this scenario, and even with child support, she struggled. So my husband, parentheses, her father, and parentheses, and I set up a quote-unquote just-in-case account. If she and her husband divorce, she'll have money to fall back on just in case. Okay. If they remain married past the time my husband and I die, it'll just be added to what she'll inherit. I didn't intend on telling her about it unless it happened, but my husband pointed out that if she was ever in a situation where she wanted to leave, but worried she financially couldn't, it'd be good for her to know she has a plan B. So we told her, and she was a little surprised. She said she appreciated it, but felt we were quote-unquote rooting against her i said we love her husband and hope they have a long healthy marriage we have always been supportive but this is similar to the prenup just in case a last resort well she told her husband and he's pissed at us as well saying that we don't trust him i said it's looking out for our daughter and really is no different from the prenup you know you could have trusted him before this but if he's kind of no, like he sold little, himself yeah, out it's he? like what are you fucking doing it's like whoa 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 yeah, well, i've never seen this from you before hold on i added that uh just as he'll always want to protect his daughter we'll always want to protect ours am i the asshole no oh my gosh what a crazy story let us know in the comments down below if you think they were the asshole or not the asshole meanwhile i'm going to talk to you about walla and her family were raising money for them to be reunited because they're being forcibly displaced out of Gaza. We're already like a third of the way to the goal, which is amazing. Um, And uh, also keep in mind, 10 Swedish krona is equal to one US dollar. And if everyone donated 10 US krona in our followers, we would be able to save this family. So yeah, donate. Uh, It's going to be the top link in our link tree. If you're not able to donate, please like, repost, share, comment, uh, watch in 2x speed. And thank you guys so much. Uh, Free Palestine, free Congo and Sudan. If you want more information about Congo and Sudan, that'll be in our link tree as well. But thanks so much and hope you have a great day. Bye bye. How can I, 26 male, get coworker, 20 female, who doesn't like men to like me? Hell yeah, dude. If this is a genuine question and this man is genuinely asking, I can give you some advice. Okay. If that's the case. But we'll see if he deserves okay. it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Whatever Whatever uh, you gotta believe. Yeah. I started at my job about three weeks ago. There's this girl I work with sometimes who I really like. I've been trying to come out of my shell more lately and make an effort with people. Going out of my comfort zone and talk to people, all that. So I decided to try to give this girl one compliment every day I saw her. Okay, man. And it wasn't creep shit like, quote, nice ass. Or anything that would make her uncomfortable. Stuff like that she was like that she has a pretty smile or beautiful eyes or that kind of thing. That is still creepy. Well, you it's not nice together. ass, so I mean <laughs> it, it you're right. It isn't nice ass, but you should uh, <laughs> Oh here he goes. I'm man. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I listen guys, it was three days ago and I picked this, alright. Don't try to get out of this. <laughs> Lack of personal accountability. Yeah, you're right, yeah. But I feel like whenever I do it, she gets kind of weird and goes goes away from me. All caps. She has not told me to stop. Or that I make her uncomfortable. She just kind of does this kind of a weird smile and says thanks and goes away. I feel like she doesn't want to talk to me at all now. Friday in the break room, I even put a little note in the pocket of her jacket. It just said, you look nice today. Jay, with a smiley face. I just thought it would be nice and make her smile. She never said anything about it. 
I told my friend about her, and he said she probably spends too much time on social media where women are being taught to be afraid of all men. Joshua, you gotta learn how to not pick stories that are obvious rage bait. (laughs) It all clicked when he said that. It makes sense. Why else would she act like she doesn't want to be around me or talk to me when all I do is be nice to her and try to make her happy? I also realize she talks way more to girls than men and doesn't seem as friendly with them. What can I do? Uh, what can I do to show her not to be afraid of me and that I really like her? I don't know what nice things to say to her that I haven't already said. Have you tried nice ass? <laughs> hey, what a crazy story that was! Don't forget to go comment down below and uh, tell us what you thought of the story. Also, we're trying to reunite Walla with her family of eight doctors who stayed behind in Gaza. Currently, they are trying to evacuate as they are being forcibly displaced from their own homes, and they need your help in donating. One dollar is ten Swedish krona, and as you can see, they are well around a third of the way to their goal, uh, about $65,000 after conversion. And if everyone can go into the link in our bio and donate ten krona, we will be able to help safely evacuate this family. Thank you very much for watching. Free Palestine, free Congo, and free Sudan. Resources and links and information will also be in our link tree as well. Thank you very much for watching. My 39 female ex-husband is insisting I changed my last name back to my maiden name because his new fiance, 24 female, feels it will be awkward for her and I to have the same last name. Am I the a-hole for refusing to change it? Take it down! My ex-husband has been dating this woman for three years. For context, she's 24 years old. My ex and I were married for 12 years and have been divorced for five years. We have three kids together who are now teenagers. My ex and I got divorced because we were young when we met and got married and we grew apart as people. It was a mutual decision and we agreed our kids came first and have always co-parented very well. Let me guess, until the fiance came along. This has been the case up until last year when his girlfriend moved in with him. Previously, we would do holidays and kids' birthdays together. Now when she's present, they won't even sit near me at our kids' sporting events. Okay. That's a little weird. I mean, you exist. If she didn't want a relationship with a man who had a previous marriage and children, she shouldn't. I've always been nice to this woman, despite my kids expressing they don't like her and they feel their dad acts differently when she's around. My ex told me early on she wasn't a fan of me and felt I intimidated her. When I asked him for examples of how I intimidated her, he said, it's my face. That I have resting face and it makes her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. She just doesn't like your face, bestie. She doesn't like the way you look. Oh, well, that makes it that much better. My ex and her got engaged over Christmas and my kids were less than thrilled. My daughter especially. She feels her dad made a major life decision without even talking to them about it first. Okay, interesting. I'm not, you know, divorced or anything like that. But I would think that it would be super important to make sure that your kids like their future stepmother or stepfather. That would be like a deciding factor to me. So interesting that he hasn't consulted them or talked to them about it. My ex called me yesterday saying he's giving me a heads up that I have a year to change my last name back to my maiden name as his fiance is expressing her distaste and concern for her and I to have the same last name when they get married. Okay, two things. Lots of people have the same last name. And also, I'm sorry, you have one year or else. Or else what? What are you gonna do if I don't? I told him we agreed in our divorce that I could keep his last name until I felt the need to change it. And that is what is listed in our paperwork. I also told him I don't want to have a different last name than our kids. Fair enough. I know some people who like drop, you know, like the hyphen and the last name or like, you know, they change it back to their maiden name, but a lot of people keep it. It's not uncommon. Think of how much of a pain in the butt it is to like lose all of your credit cards and your ID or like you move and you have to change your address. Think about how many pieces of documentation she will need to change because his new fiance is uncomfortable with them having the same last name, a last name that also is shared by lots of other people. Where's the logic? Like, make it make sense. He said, I'm being unreasonable and refusing to see how this would make his fiance uncomfortable. Mm. Oh, cry about it. I told him I can't see it from her side because I'm a grown up and not an immature child like she is. Boom, roasted. He told me I could ask anyone about this situation and everyone would agree with her. Uh, 
No, no, I, I don't, I don't. So am I the a-hole for refusing to change my last name to make her happy? My thing is like, she's asking you to do her a pretty big favor when she hasn't really been nice to you at all. That is a big thing to ask somebody. Maybe if you guys were friends, you were cordial. Maybe if your kids liked her, you would consider her request. But it's not like she's given you any reason to like do this favor for her. She's forcing her fiance, your ex-husband, to essentially like blackmail, like, you have one year to change the name that you are legally allowed to keep. Why would I do that? Like why, like why would, why would you do that? Why? Not the a-hole, tell him you'll only consider changing your last name back to your maiden name if you can change the kids' last names. Also, that's what's up. Checkmate. My guess is he didn't like that very much, did he? If he doesn't agree, he can sit on it and root it. That's a good one. I like that one. You're funny. OP responds, I did offer that as a solution and he completely lost it. Saying he is their dad and they deserve to have his last name. I mean, you were also his wife for a long time. You know, it's not super easy to change your last name, especially like, let's say if I wanted to change my last name and me and Mike like got married, I would have to change literally everything that has to do with like my business, how people know me online, like, everything that is her name and she's had it for a while i feel like this is like some way to get like for the fiance the young fiance to like erase her or something i don't know it's it's, it's a bit weird and manipulative yeah when i said i wanted the same last name as our kids he told me that wasn't a legitimate reason not to change it i don't think you need a legitimate reason to change it a legitimate reason. That's your name, babes. If you're not legally obligated, show them the divorce papers. He's wrong on all counts. He needs to come to terms with the fact that this isn't his name, it's yours now too. I'm sure other people exist in the world with the same last name, he needs to get over it. Yeah, I mean, it's quite common. A lot of people think I'm related to the Dobre brothers because we have the same last name. We don't. Dobre is a very common Eastern European last name. It means good. So like, think about all the people that are named good in the States and in Canada or England or whatever. That's how common it is. I can't think of a single one. Is Charlotte Dobre related to the Dobre brothers is like one of the most searched things having to do with my name. So there's some people speculating as to why a year, you know, why are you giving her a year? I suspect he meant they'll be married approximately a year from now and his fiance wants it changed by the time they get married. You're right, it sounds completely ridiculous because how is he going to punish OP if she doesn't do it? Yeah, like what's the consequence of not doing it? Like what's in it for me? What's what's gonna happen? Nothing, right? you can't legally ask someone to do that. <laughs> Make mean posts on social media, sue her, have her arrested and thrown in jail, it's so stupid. That girl is so insecure. OP has the right to have the same name as her children. Maybe when the fiance's brain fully develops at 28, she'll understand, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Maybe she doesn't get it that like, it's actually quite common to keep the last name when you get divorced, possibly. Well, for those of you who are unclear on that, it is common to keep your last name the same when you get divorced. Some people change it, some people don't. Just like some people change their last name when they get married and some people don't. It's whatever you want, baby cakes. Cake? Who suggested cake? All of this being said, I don't think you're an a-hole. I think you're being quite reasonable and the fiance is being an a-hole. She's probably got some sort of weird complex about you, you know, like. But see, the thing is, is like, we can't be dating and like, marrying divorced people with children if we are not okay with the baggage that comes with it. There will always be baggage. Some people are like totally fine with like taking on, you know, the responsibility of being a step parent. Maybe the divorced couple has a relationship still. You gotta be able to deal with it. And maybe you're too young to understand, <laughs> but wake up. That's not how the world works. Reddit has deemed this person not the a-hole, but we have an update. To clarify, the reason he gave me a year is because they're getting married sometime next year and wanted my name changed prior to the wedding. Anyways, my ex called me yesterday and he said he'd done a lot of research, okay, on ex-wives keeping the ex-husband's last name after a divorce. You seemed pretty confident. 
before. Did we like see the Reddit thread or something and change our minds? He stated he didn't realize how common this is, especially when there are children from the marriage. Okay. I guess it's possible that he could be 38 years old and had no idea. <laughs> he also said this had been my last name for 17 years. My entire adult life had been with this last name and I built a career with it. He basically acknowledged that every reason I had to keep it was legitimate. I mean, yeah, you'd have to go and change literally every piece of documentation that has to do with who you are in order to keep his fiance happy, a fiance who's never been nice to you. Why would you do that? He apologized for the way he initially approached me about changing my last name and explained he's in a bad spot trying to make his fiance happy. She also explained she feels that by me keeping his last name must mean I'm still in love with him. Oh, there it is, there it is. The Delulu is strong with this one. And this is my secret way of assuring we end up together again someday. Okay. I informed him this was not, nor will it ever be the case. Yes, I care deeply about him because I was married to him for 12 years and he is the father of my children and I want him to be happy in life. However, I fell out of love with him many years ago and that will not change. He said he informed his fiance that he will not bring this up to me again. And if she didn't like it, the ball was in her court to decide if she wanted to continue their relationship. Yay! That was a very Delulu request to begin with though. So like, I'm not surprised it turned out in your favor. Maybe if you got married and you wanted to change your name, you can do so if you feel like it. Nobody can make you change your name, bestie. Wanna bet? When I hear I did a lot of research, I just think they Googled something. Pretty much, yeah. You are not the a-hole! Moving on!